Lyonnaise potatoes, named for Lyon, France, is a classic side dish that takes leftover cooked potatoes, slices them up, and sautés them in a lot of butter with a little onion, and they're delicious. And today, Lawman's going to show us how easy it is to make this simple side dish at home. That's right, Julia. Nobody wants to wait around for leftover mm -mm. potatoes. Not for a side dish this good. No. So we're going to use raw potatoes. Here I have two pounds of peeled Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm just going to finish prepping them. Now you want to cut the potatoes on the thicker side, about a half inch. That is pretty thick. Usually the old recipes I've seen cut them much thinner. The thicker cut is going to allow them to fit in the skillet easier, and also it's going to allow more browning on the potato and it's not going to overcook. Makes sense. Now you also mentioned Yukon Gold potatoes, which is slightly different than the russets that I find in a lot of recipes. Correct. We found that Yukon Gold potatoes had a deep flavor and a tender texture. We also tested russets. They were a little too dry. And also red potatoes, we just found they were just okay. The Yukon Gold potatoes were the best by far. Okay. Now for the onion, I'm just going to slice it thin. I'm going through the pole to pole or right through the root end of the onion. And I like to start on the small end of the onion. I'm just going to cut it thin using a claw method so I don't cut my fingers. I go about halfway. Keep the wide end right here so it's more stable. It's that last slice that always gets you though. This is the part where I feel <laughs> like, is it worth it? <laughs> and maybe not. <laughs> Protect your fingers above all. And I'm just going to do the same thing with this side of the onion. So there are two ways to slice an onion, pole to pole, or the other way where you get sort of that rainbow effect. Now when you cut them pole to pole, the onions will actually hold together better during cooking. When you make those rainbows, those get very soft and actually get a bit wormy. So better off going pole to pole. Yes. Now let's get cooking. So here I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter on a 12 inch nonstick skillet over medium heat. I'm going to add our potatoes and three quarter teaspoon of salt. So other recipes have you cook the potatoes and the onions at the same time, but we found the cook time of the two ingredients never matched up. You ended up with raw potatoes and burnt onions. That makes sense. Nobody wants burnt onions. Nobody likes burnt onions. Exactly. You could cook the onions separately, but instead we're going to stagger the ingredients starting with the potatoes. So I'm going to cover and cook the potatoes until they're tender and golden brown, about 15 minutes. It's important to cover the potatoes so they cook through, and we're going to flip them occasionally to get even browning. Makes sense. Julia, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's check on the potatoes. Woohoo! Those are beautiful. They look gorgeous. Now I'm just going to turn the heat down to medium low so that when you add the onions, they don't burn. So I'm going to add our sliced onions, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. Woohoo! You can hear those onions just starting to hit that butter and start to fry. And we're going to cover and cook these onions until they're tender and golden brown, about 10 minutes longer, stirring occasionally. So it's been about 10 minutes. Let's check the onions for doneness. That looks gorgeous. I like to test onions one of two ways. I either <laughs> take a fork and kind of poke it to see if it's soft, or the best way I find is just fish one of these guys out, taste it, you know it's done, you know it's seasoned well. Yep. In this case, it's both. So I'm just going to take it off the heat. Now, potatoes lanes somewhat of a rustic dish, but it's also elegant at the same time. I can't exactly serve it to you in the skillet. <laughs> so we have this nice platter over here. Mmm. I like it. Rustic but elegant. And before we eat, I'm just going to add the classic garnish of this dish, which is a tablespoon of minced parsley. It adds a pop of color and some fresh flavor. So All let's right. eat. All right. And I love that it was cooked all in one pan. Because as a side dish, you don't want to use up every pot and pan in your kitchen. You want it to be simple. No, you don't. You're right. Mmm. Onions are tender and caramelized. Potatoes are nice and brown and creamy. You notice that parsley really adds some fresh flavor. Well, the potatoes are delicious. They're perfectly cooked through, fluffy in the middle because it was a fairly thick slice, but it's nice and crisp on both edges. So you get a dual texture. Exactly. And the flavor of the onions worked its way into the butter. So everything's coated with a very gentle onion flavor. Lawman, these are delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. So if you want to make Lyonnaise potatoes, start by peeling and slicing two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes into half-inch thick slices. 
Using a nonstick skillet and four tablespoons of butter, cook the potatoes over medium heat until they're just tender. Then stir in a sliced onion, turn the heat down to medium low, and continue to cook until the onion is tender. To finish, simply transfer to a platter and sprinkle with parsley. From Cook's Country, a great recipe for Lyonnaise potatoes. These are delicious. I'm gonna need a few more. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>